Mary Crowther was an inspired regional organiser for the Yorkshire region, developing advisory days, cafe sessions, photo forums, photo shoot workshop opportunities and distinctions talks. Mary is still very much involved in the society's activities. I'm truly overwhelmed to be nominated. I feel honoured and privileged to receive this award. It has been an enriching and illuminating journey, one with many passionate volunteers and photographers along the way. Thank you so much to the Society for this recognition and thank you to all the staff, the volunteers and the members for all their hard work. Over the years, I have met many great photographers who have spent their time sharing knowledge and experiences. I love photography because it is a perfect blend of science, technology and art. You have the basic equipment, you understand how lighting and exposure work, but it is the artist in you to see that shot that other people don't and composing them in a creative way. It is the spontaneity to capture that one moment as it happens. Photography is a great way to connect with people. It is a community. It is something you can enjoy in solitude or in a group, exploring and appreciating a common theme. A great interest and pleasure to share, teach, study and appreciate other people's photography. Mark Reeves was a founding member of the RPS Landscape Group, later its web manager and now its events manager. Mark also sits on the Society's Environmental and Social Responsibility Committee. I was blown away when I received the letter from Joe telling me that I'd been nominated for this award. I didn't know that my work was even on the radar of the people who make decisions about awards in the RPS. So uh, a big thank you to whoever it was who nominated me. The work that my colleagues and I on the Landscape Group Committee do, we do it primarily, of course, for the members of the Landscape Group. And uh, we, we receive lots of uh, appreciative comments back from our members and that makes the job very rewarding. But of course, without volunteers, the society wouldn't survive. And so it's, uh, it, it, it's very nice to receive an acknowledgement of that work from the society itself, as well as from our members. I've always envied creative people, particularly visual artists, because I've always wanted to be able to paint or draw, but I was never any good at either. So for me, photography is about a way of being able to express my creative vision, but using tools that I can master rather than those that I could never get the hang of. To be able to just go out into the landscape with my camera, with no rule book and uh, just experiment, is a very, very pleasing way to spend time. And of course, if I come back with pictures that I like, well then even better. And when people want to buy my work, well then that's uh, very satisfying indeed. Stuart Wall is the regional organiser for the East Midlands and chair of the Members Committee. Stuart is also an assessor on the licentiate panel and is the first panel chair of the new photo book distinction genre. It feels really strange to be sat here on my own talking to my camera, but it's also a great honour to have been invited to make this recording because I've been nominated for the Fenton Award. When I received Joe's email to say that I'd received the award, it was a real shock and I wondered what I'd done to actually achieve it. And then I thought of all the members and friends I have in the Royal Photographic Society who have helped me in making my contribution to the RPS, which after all is one of the leading societies in the world. Joe Altimo also asked me why photography is so important to me. Well, it's how I've earned my living since 1978. And only a few days ago, I did my last ever commission. I'm now using photography to research at the University of Hertfordshire. I'm doing a doctorate where I'm looking at community and community resilience. Hopefully very soon, we'll be able to meet each other again in person after the last 18 months when we've been seeing each other via Zoom. Thank you very much for awarding me the Fenton Medal. It's a great honour. It's a great honour to be a member of the Royal Photographic Society. 
Rex Waygood is co-chair of the Digital Imaging Group. He has worked with a team of volunteers and committee members presenting Zoom events which commenced at the start of lockdown and which quickly became a much used source of interaction and inspiration for society members. I'm very happy, honoured and surprised to receive this award. It is rewarding to be recognised and to be in such auspicious company. I enjoy my work within the RPS and especially enjoy the teamwork within digital imaging. Together, I feel we've achieved a great deal and have had a lot of fun, all for the benefit of RPS members. Through the RPS, I have met and become friends with some incredible people. This award is the icing on the cake. Thank you. In 2003, I purchased my first DLSR and went back into photography after a very long break. I met photographers all around the world via the internet and many of those acquaintances have become great friends. I have gone on to have exchange visits with some and that has taken me to places that I may otherwise not have visited. Photography has widened my horizons, brought new experiences and people into my life. It provides both technical, personal and artistic challenges for me. Peter Hayes has been chair of the Distinctions Committee has chaired various distinctions panels and has chaired the fellowship board. Peter also worked on the RPS 100 Heroines project to promote women photographers which exhibited internationally and received national media coverage. The Fenton Medal means an awful lot to volunteers because it's given for service to the RPS so I'm extremely proud. I understand it was for my work during the pandemic including Distinctions Talks Live and the Distinctions Facebook group I'm delighted that we managed to reach up to a thousand people a session via Zoom by producing a series of free interviews with leading photographers. But this could not have been achieved without huge commitment and effort from everyone who worked with me. They know who they are and I'll always be grateful for their patience and kindness. With our Facebook group now reaching three and a half thousand people, it means that the Society's engagement with both members and non-members is greater than ever before. Thank you, RPS, for this great honour. My whole life has been spent analysing images, both still and moving, in order to communicate professionally through both print and visual media. But what I've learned through working with Andy Moore and Distinctions is that photography is so much more than that. I've seen people grow in confidence as their work improves. I've seen photography bring catharsis and healing after domestic violence. Seen shocking images of environmental damage jolt viewers into paying attention. And personal projects help people through devastating loss and serious illness. At its best, photography not only informs and entertains, it arouses empathy, provokes curiosity, moves people, changes them and tells compelling stories about lives other than our own. And that is why photography is important to me. It's a universal language and I'm proud to be part of it. Our Members Award recognises extraordinary support to the Society over a sustained period. Sheila Haycox has made a significant contribution to the RPS as webmaster for two of our special interest groups, the Audiovisual Group and the Western region of the Digital Imaging Group, of which she was also centre organiser. Well, first of all, it was a wonderful surprise and I am honoured to receive this award. I am so taken aback, but really pleased to be appreciated. I do enjoy giving a helping hand, whether it be assistance with software or any other support, and will be doing so for as long as I am able. I have always taken snaps of the family, but since 1986 when I started taking photos more seriously, it has given me plenty of fun and a social life. I just enjoy taking all sorts of images and have used it to diversify in so many directions, like making books, exhibiting work, doing presentations and making audio visuals. It certainly keeps me very busy. 
Nominations for the 2022 RPS Awards are now open. Visit our website to find out more.